Ahoy! So, long story short, I was routering with my brand new Dremel and it started overheating. It actually, at the time they noticed there was a bit of a too late and now my router bit is a bit of square. You know, can you see it? Because the treads, they got soft, close to melting. So I gotta cut it out. It's uh, only a new tool, Dremel 4200. The one with the easy load, fancy, all with bells and whistles. But then I kind of noticed that this one is swinging a bit. Left and right. Uh, what makes me believe that probably there's no bearing in here. Which would be, which would be an awful disaster. You see how this swings that way? It swings this way. So, and I wasn't even rounding hardwood. It's only, it's only pine softwood. Uh, the router bit is brand new, so there's no, there's not that much pressure in. But if it was rubbing in that one, that's obviously was overheating there. So let's take it apart, see what's, what's in there. And this thing was rubbing in. In my understanding, the bearing should be as close as possible in there. Um, I suppose that bearing is the rubber thing for vibration dampening but then what what does that make do it makes this thing move and it rubs in that contributes to your screw up um, that thing rotates this one is on the bearing I remove I move the ring sideways but here's the thing there's a little flange in there see that bit here is it not focusing come on there you are see that bit here there's a little flange in there on the bearing so if there would be no flange the bearing will be probably sitting eh, let's say tight enough can I get my calipers in? Well done. We move this one out. No. See better? If the bearing would be sitting on this part. It will be kind of flush, but why was the flange was made to have a play in there? So, um, let's have a check. I have here 12.6 millimeters. And it's got in, it's, uh, it's a 12 millimeters. So basically 0 0.3 millimeters of a play on the bearing. Why was that done so? I don't know, maybe Dremel engineers can answer me this. There you go. And that contributes to this part being rubbed in there. Like in my understanding, uh, once you go in there, the closer the bearing is, the less the less the less vibration is gonna be, due to slightly imbalance and all your bits in there. And when you're routering, there's a pressure going on. But then, don't know. I had a Dremel 3000 Digital. I had it for six years. Yes, six years. Never gave me trouble. And that's the tools. And that's the tool that I was using every day. Well, nearly every day, but I can say nearly like I can say every day building my copters, and they never gave me trouble. Lasted for six years. I shouldn't have sold it, but uh, and now this one was used only three times, and I already have to take it apart and modify it and fix it. Not cool. Not cool. Well, more or less done. I got this copper plate 0 0.1 I think millimeters thickness so I shimmed it around the bearing in there uh, in that slider the lock mechanism and also the bearing that was in the rubber I shimmed it as well to 0 0.4 millimeters on each side so 
hopefully that will sort it out like there's still there's still a little bit of a play but situation is much much better than it was before because before that it, you could not even pressing very hard and it was touching the walls already that's where that's where from the friction got the got the vibration anyway i shouldn't be having to do this as I said, the other two lasted me for six years without any trouble. Nowadays, what you get nowadays, everything made in China, in this case in Mexico. Alright, so we're good to go. Bye bye.